This video explains how to draw a ggplot2 box plot for multiple y variables for groups of a continuous x variable in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And we can click on this data object to open a window that is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains three columns, whereby the columns X and Y contain random numeric values and the column group is a group indicator. Now, if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geomboxplot. So if we want to draw a single box plot for each of the groups of our data frame, then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 10 to 14. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new box plot graphic is shown, which is showing each of the groups in our data frame in a separate box plot. However, now let's assume that we want to split our data even further so that we are drawing each of those boxes in separate ranges for the X variable. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 16 to 21. And in these lines of code, I'm cutting our X variable into ranges with a width of 0 0.5. And then I'm also using the facet grid function to draw a different facet for each of the groups in our data. So if you run lines 16 to 21 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time, each of the boxes that we had shown before is now split in separate ranges for the X variable. So you can see a separate facet for each of the main groups in our data. And then we have drawn a separate box for each of the ranges with a width of 0 0.5. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.